Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic components distributor with the widest selection of the newest products, we're catching asteroids, detecting dirty Fords, printing rocket engine components, and shocking Facebook users for deviant behavior. Ford has developed a system for detecting dirt on their newly painted vehicles. Dirt, which is a byproduct of the vehicle painting process in an industrial environment, can cause imperfections and weaknesses in paint and the surfaces of vehicles. Using a matrix of 16 high-resolution cameras, the Ford Paint Inspection Team can identify imperfections that are finer than a grain of salt, giving the inspectors the opportunity to buff out the irregularities before the vehicles hit the lot. In the past, detecting these sorts of imperfections was left up to the naked eye of the inspectors, but this system analyzes more than 3,000 images in less than 15 seconds. Those images are pieced together in the system and digitally compared to a perfect model. In just one year, this 3D dirt detection technology has led to an 82% improvement in paint quality. The tech is only in six facilities at the moment, but Ford hopes to grow that number quickly. Last Thursday, NASA unveiled its plan to find, capture, redirect, and study a near-Earth asteroid. During the asteroid redirect mission, the Orion spacecraft and crew will launch atop the Space Launch System Heavy Lift rocket. From there, the spacecraft and crew will embark on a nine-day trip to the captured asteroid, during which Orion would swing by the moon to pick up speed. It's called a Lunar Gravity Assist. Watch Apollo 13 if you don't know. Orion will then rendezvous with the robotic capture vehicle so the astronauts can maneuver and position for the spacewalk to the asteroid. During the spacewalk, astronauts install a translation boom, boom, to the asteroid and retrieve tools stowed aboard the captured vehicle to collect samples from the asteroid for up to six days. After the six days, Orion unlocks from the capture vehicle, gets another lunar assist, and returns to Earth in about 10 days. The Asteroid Initiative will incorporate advanced solar electric propulsion technology as a power source for spacecraft, offering greater flexibility to the spacecraft and mission planners. The mission also leverages the agency's progress on the Space Launch System rocket, Orion spacecraft, and other cutting-edge technology developments. You go take, take care of my little girl, girl now. That's, That's your job. job. Daddy, no! Yeah! About a week ago, the largest 3D printed rocket engine component was lit up and produced a record 20,000 pounds of thrust at nearly 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Big deal! I made this on a 3D printer! Pushing the limits of 3D printed components is important, as they have the potential to reduce cost and time, making space travel quicker and easier. In this firing, NASA tested an injector that was responsible for delivering propellants such as liquid oxygen and gaseous hydrogen to a combustion chamber. The printed part managed to produce 10 times more thrust than any 3D printed injector before. The injector was printed using selective laser melting on a nickel chromium alloy powder. Though the injector was subscale, it had 28 different elements for channeling and mixing propellants. This is the key to cost reduction that 3D printing provides. Components with fewer assembled parts are more reliable, save time on assembly, and are cheaper to produce. A pair of PhD students at MIT are taking on Facebook and email, other social networks, uh, pretty much every online distraction, which is pretty much anything posted to the internet, ever. Robert Morris and Dan McDuff have created Pavlov Poke, a keyboard accessory designed to wean users from all that nonsense that gets in the way of your day-to-day. -day. The design, more of a humorous societal critique than marketable impending lawsuit, consists of four primary components. A Mac UI inspector to monitor computer application usage, processing code that produces an on-screen alert, an Arduino connected via USB to the computer which activates the relay and starts the shock circuit, and, most importantly, electrodes on the keypad. The pair has another system that will actually post a job on Amazon's Mechanical Turk and recruit a worker to call you and dole out appropriate scolding. 
If anything, McDuff and Morris are adding to an important conversation. Facebook is addictive by design, and users spend an average of 400 minutes on the site each month. A recent study even suggests that it's more addictive than cigarettes and alcohol. And can I suggest mandatory installation on all verified trolls? Actually, we have a number of users on pddnet.com who've already been sent a little not-so-subtle hint. You know who you are. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For PDD TV, I'm Megan Zima and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Thank <laughs> you.